Okay guys, uh, this video here, I'm going to show you how to high speed idle. Uh, in this case, it's a 2014 Kenworth. Uh, I'm sitting in a T680. And right now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. And as you know, in the summertime, it gets pretty hot here. Just the other day it was 118 already and it's barely June. But I recommend that in the summer, you know, if you're going to sit and idle and use your air conditioning, which I highly recommend when it's that hot, and hopefully your trucking company lets you idle. Uh, you know, a lot of them have the automatic shutdown if it's, you know, 70 degrees or cooler. Uh, but in this case, you know, we're in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, gosh, looking at the odometer, or looking at the dash, it's already 100 degrees. <laughs> so that's why I thought maybe I'd just show you a video because I recommend high speed idling. If you're just going to idle your truck at a natural 700 RPM, a lot of times, uh, you know, the engine, it, it hates it, and it's going to go into regeneration mode. Okay, and hopefully you can see my buttons here. I'm kind of in the sun. Normally I do a better job, you know, filming the dash in the shade where you can see better, but in this case, I think you guys can see okay. Now, on this Kenworth uh, T680, see the bottom buttons here, okay? This is how you make it, you know, go from a natural 700 RPM. I recommend, you know, idling it to 900 to 1100 okay okay now right here this middle button okay I'm gonna go ahead and click it on okay that activates your you know, cruise control and then see here right off to the right side it says set okay now watch the dash if you look at the dash it's about 700 rpm okay okay now I'm just gonna press it up and hold it okay and it goes to about 900 as you can see and I go even a little higher when it's 100 degrees. Okay, I like to have the engine purr like a kitten. So what I do is I like to idle it just a little bit above 1,000 RPM, okay? And like I said, all you gotta do on most trucks is just set your, um, you know, your cruise control button, you know, activate it, turn it on, and then just hit the resume set button. Just keep hitting it up, okay? Now, this is all I'm doing, I'm just pressing it. You know, see, boom, boom, boom or you can just kind of hold it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off again okay there you go now it's off okay it's at 700 now this time I'm gonna go ahead and just like I just showed you on the button I'm gonna hold it down okay and then very important if you don't have your brake set it's not gonna work okay uh, it's a safety feature so you know put your truck I, I got a 13 speed so I've got it in neutral right now and if you have an automa automatic, do the same. Go ahead and set, you know, set your brake. I already have. Boom. Okay, and then I'm going to show you, you know, the dash, what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the cruise control set. And right now I'm just going to hit the set resume button. I'm just going to hold it down towards the dash. Okay, now watch what it does. Okay, there's one. And see, I can set that thing all the way up on, on these Kenworths. On some of your trucks, you know, depending on what you have, they'll only go up to about 900 to 1100 RPM. Okay, in this case, I went ahead and just knocked it down to about 900. Okay. I like to go right around 1000. It has a nice purr on this. Uh, I run a 900 uh, cubic inch Cummins in this uh, particular truck. You know, in the D13s and uh, 15s, you know, the Detroit engines are similar. Okay, and that's it. Uh, it's just a simple video this time. But I would recommend big time, uh, don't let your truck just sit there and idle at 700 RPM if you need your air conditioning on in the heat. You know, get, get the RPMs up. I think any manufacturer, if you want to call Cummins or Detroit, they're going to tell you the same thing. And like I said, I've had great luck. I've never had a problem when I drive in extreme heat. I'm in Phoenix two times a week and it's easily 105 to 115 or hotter almost daily and I've never had a problem just sitting and idling okay so anyway hopefully this video helps alright and I'll uh, hopefully see you next video thanks you guys bye